Welcome back to the 46th annual Super Clean Knoxville Nationals presented by the Midwest Ford dealers. And the aggressiveness on the racetrack is heating up as they fight their way for those final four spots into tonight's A main. Danny Lasoski getting together just moments ago with Australia's Kerry Madsen. Madsen sees his night get upside down. He's with Bachoven. Well, Kerry, you were one spot out of a transfer. Can you tell us what happened? Yeah, pretty much. The guy ran over me, you know. We had a good run, the Selma Shell. Uh, just want to thank the opportunity for Dave Helm to give me this opportunity to race here in this, this car. Um, you know, Shocks Maxim Tracks, he's VRP Shocks. Just can't say enough for this team. You know, a guy just drove over for no reason, but I, I got 25 more shows with that guy, so we'll, I'll get it sorted out. No doubt about it, Brad. Kerry Matson is a fiery driver, and the guy that he was battling with, <laughs> Just as fiery. Might be a little shorter in stature, but every bit as fiery behind the wheel of that 83. Well, and most of these guys have long memories, too. Oh, Madsen's yeah. going to remember that, and he said he's got 25 shows. He'll cool off a little bit and uh, maybe rethink that, try, trying to retaliate and get even, but these guys are just racing hard. Here's Dave Argerbright. Darren Pittman just said, let everybody else have all that drama. You're in the A feature. You've had hot laps. Tell me about your race car. Do you have a car that can win this thing? No, I mean, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, the racetrack is awesome, and I think that's the best thing we got going for us is that uh, it's really wide, uh, two really good grooves, and if our car is good enough, you can definitely pass some cars. So we got 10 good ones in front of us, but uh, as good as we were in hot laps and on our prelim night, I think we got a good shot at it. Is it difficult in all this buildup to this A feature, A main event, is it difficult emotionally to deal with all that? Yeah, I mean, the, the, mainly the prelim nights are the biggest, uh, you know, stress, you know, that, that you go through. Uh, you know, we're locked into the A main. We're a little bit, uh, you know, more relaxed. We start 11th. Uh, if we were starting the pole, I'm sure it would be a little bit uh, more stressful. But uh, we're looking forward to it. We can go out. And uh, we've had a good enough car that, uh, you know, i got confidence in my crew and our whole team that uh, we've got a real good shot at winning this thing. Darren Pittman, one of the guys to watch in the 21 we're talking about as we see Madsen's car come back just as we went to break I said you can't be weak if you want to win this race they talk about elbows up man you have to check your fears your intimidations at the door before you crawl in the cockpit you really have to be willing to give it all for one shot just to get into the AMA. Well, absolutely, and I'm not sticking up or going to defense for Danny Lasowski here, but I can almost tell you from sitting in the race cars and driving from this, you can't, you didn't do that on purpose. Danny Lasowski, had he planned that or you know tried to do that intensely, he could have very easily knocked his own nose wing out, knocked his own front axle out, broken a radius rod. He could have easily taken himself out of the event. So I don't think it was intentional. Hard racing, yeah, it was a mistake on Danny Lasowski's part. He overdrove the car, got in the back of of 11H car of Matson, but I'd have to almost tell you he didn't do that intentionally. And the chances are pretty good. Kerry Matson understands that, doesn't like that because it knocked him out of a dream. However, he understands what the intensity and the pressure of this event is all about. Absolutely. And again, he's mad. He's upset right now. But maybe once he calms down a little bit, he realizes it's just a racing deal. Here's the thing to take note of, though. Shane Stewart and Jeff Shepard are now one and two. Brian Brown has slipped back to third. Terry McCarl holds fourth. Lasoski is all the way up to fifth. One spot out of the transfer, and McCarl and Lasoski have gone wheel to wheel for the win here at the Nationals before. Look at that. Look at that. McCarl moves up. Brown slides high. And Danny Lasoski could take his nephew right out of the A main. Lasoski's on the bottom. Brown's on the top. And there he goes. Danny Lasoski in the 83, the white car on the bottom. That's his nephew upstairs, Brian Brown in the black 21. Oh, contact! And the nephew turns his uncle around. Oh. That is unbelievable. And again, Brian Brown, as you see the crowd go crazy. Uh oh, the caution's out. And yeah. now, now, yeah. if that caution's for Danny Lasoski, he'll get put to the tail for bringing out the caution flag, even though he kept the car running. He goes right to the bottom and he lets his nephew know he ain't happy about it. Oh boy, that's what the Nationals are all about and how intense this thing is. Even families will have huge battles over who belongs where and who deserves to go to the AMA. That is unbelievable, folks. And that is Danny Wasowski's nephew. Danny has helped get him rides, helped him learn and trained him and to get into sprint car racing. And let me tell you, the entire Lasoski family is here. Mothers, fathers. Gotta wonder what Thanksgiving's oh, gonna be like, don't you? it's gonna be tough at the end of the night. 
But that's but just how pressure packed this we, is. We talked about the intensity with Kerry Matson and Daniel Osowski. That proves it, as you said, right there. Let's see what happens here. Brown oh, came down on him. He sure did. I, I didn't think Brown would have seen him there, but it looked like he, he did see Danny. Tried to squeeze him a little bit, turned left, and you could see the contact. Lasowski, again, lucky it didn't knock the front axle of that car. When it spun back around the left, generally with the stagger on, a smaller left rear tire, usually the car will trip over that left rear and get upside down as he's looking for him right there. Yeah, he is. And the thing about it is Brown was not intimidated at all. The young kid who was known for scraping mud off of Uncle Danny's race car came right back at him. Now, who, if anybody, gets sent to the back out of that deal? Well, that's what's going to be interesting. If the caution flag came out for Daniel Lasowski, unless they ruled it was too quick of a yellow and they're going to leave, this, leave the spot, I don't know. We'll just have to wait to see word. But generally, if the caution flag comes out for you, you go to the tail of the field. Well, you can hear this crowd, some cheering, some booing, the intensity and the pressure getting to the drivers. Okay, we're getting word. It's, it's an inadvertent yellow, it means the flagman was quick to throw the yellow. He thought that Lasowski was going to stop, and for safety issues, he threw the yellow to slow the cars down. But when Lasowski kept the car going, but now here's the interesting thing also, me as a driver, several cars passed him while he was spinning and doing the 360. Several cars, but again, they got to score it back to the last completed lap. So Lasowski was running fifth at the time. He'll get the spot. Wow. And he's going to go back to green right behind his nephew who holds the final ticket to the A main. And, and Ralph, the way those guys were beating and banging on each other's cars under caution flag, they could have easily knocked a, a radius rod or flattened a tire out. They both still have a chance to get in the A main. They could have ruined that chance right there, beating and banging on the caution flag. Brad, you know, just walking in here to the track tonight, I had some fans ask me, what's the best race you've been to all year? And I said, <laughs> we haven't run the Nationals yet. This is why everybody looks forward to this race. The intensity, the drama, it doesn't get any better. Going back to green, the uncle and the nephew battling for the final spot at the end. Lasowski to the bottom, Brown upstairs. Who's going to squeeze who as they go to three? Brian trying to stay on the top, get a runoff. Lasowski the shorter way around. There's a lot of moisture out of turn four on the bottom. Four laps left to go. Lasowski moves in front of Brian Brown. And look at this, Jeff Shepard in the 4J, the white car, has taken the lead away from Shane Stewart. Terry McKinnon down third. Watching the battle for the transfer spot. Shepard gets by the 26 car. He's pulling away down the back straightaway. Now he goes to the bottom of the racetrack. Stewart to the top. There's Brian Brown at the top of the screen. He's not done with his uncle yet. As Shepard starts to stretch it out a little bit over Shane Stewart. But Lasowski so good on the bottom, Brad, and he's working it just perfectly here tonight. But Brown getting a pretty decent drive off the top. He really is. But again, your race car has to be working to run around the bottom of the racetrack. Now, some of the moisture on the bottom, the guys that run down there, they're throwing it up, and, and it looks like the middle groove may be starting to come back also. The white flag is out. And now Travis Ryland closes in on Brown. So his shot at this looks to be over. And now McCarl and Lasowski battle for third. Coming to the checker, Jeff Shepard wins the B main. Shane Stewart finishes second. McCarl and Lasowski will fill out tonight's A main event at the 46th annual Super Clean Knoxville Nationals presented by the Midwest Ford Dealers. Wow. And that's only the B main. We've got 30 laps for the glory, the honor, the pride of winning the Nationals. Well, you asked me in the open about what it's like to come here and to try to explain, I tried to explain the stress and the pressures of getting into this field and what it'll do to you. This is four nights, this is the pressures uh, and the pressure cooker's about to explode. Danny Lasowski came from dead last to finish fourth in the B main. Can he come from dead last of the A where he's gonna have to start to win the A? And the crowd, not happy about Lasowski getting the transfer. No, well, Kerry Matson's been running here for a few years, so he's kind of considered a local boy out of Australia. 
a transplant here to, to Knoxville, Iowa. Of course, Dan Wasowski, many-time winner here. So both these guys kind of down-home folks, but but Matson more so recently 